delays are annoying, especially during the holidays when time is everything. CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg is here with the five things you need to know about delayed flights. Peter, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Why so many delayed flights? Well, actually, this year has not been that many delayed flights. In fact, it had their best year ever since 2003. 83.7% of all flights are arriving within 15 minutes of scheduled arrival time. And now let me put that in perspective. Why is that? There are fewer flights, number one. Number two, the airlines are padding their schedules. Because remember, they determine an on-time arrival by whether or not it arrives within 15 minutes of scheduled arrival times. So if you list the flight as arriving three hours later than it did five years ago, you're always going to be early. And then the last reason, those tarmac delay rules. How about this? When they first put those into effect, mm -hmm. the airlines, oh, they screamed and yelled it was going to mm -hmm. kill them. You know how many, how many flights in the year 2012 were delayed by more than four hours? How many? Four, okay, because of those consequences yeah. of a $27,000, $500 fine per passenger. Well, so that's good. It is good, Yeah. but there are still delayed flights. Okay, so let's talk about what are the best and worst airlines for flight delays. Well, it goes by this. Uh, it's by route. Uh, Virgin American flight between Los Angeles and San Francisco, that one's late. Uh, our executive producer, Chris Licht, his favorite flight, American Airlines Flight 145 between JFK and San Diego, late a lot. American Airlines between Dallas and Tampa, uh, United Airlines between Newark and San Francisco, and Southwest Airlines between Kansas City and Baltimore. Now, you've got some airlines that have had some pretty good, uh, you know, basically performance. You have Hawaiian Airlines is great, Alaskan Airlines is great, and AirTran is great. Gotcha. And then on the low end, you've got American Airlines because they're still recovering from that pilot slowdown of a couple of months ago. You say it's best to book flights based on when you want to arrive somewhere. Explain what that means. Yes. Well, think about this. One third of all flights that travel in the United States either go to, from, or through New York City airports. Mm -hmm. So if you want to arrive on time at a New York City airport, you want to arrive between 8 and 9 in the morning at LaGuardia when 94% of the flights arrive on time. You want to try to arrive there between 6 and 7 in the evening, that drops down to 64%. Same thing in Kennedy. At 11 o'clock in the morning, 91% of the flights arrive on time. You can go bowling on those runways. Yeah. At 7 to 8 o'clock at night when all the international flights are leaving, it drops down to 69%. Is it generally better to fly in the morning? Uh, oh, always. Okay. Yeah. It, especially so. if you know that the actual aircraft that you're on overnighted the night before. Okay, suppose you want to listen to you and then you decide you want to check your on-time record of the airline that you're flying on. What do well, you there are two do? ways to do that. Uh, the United States Department of Transportation has a monthly consumer affairs report that anybody can access, which lists the worst on-time flights by route and flight number. And you also have a, a website called flightstats.com, which does it as well. And it gives you for every single flight what its on-time percentage is for the last 12 months. D knowing what you know, I mean, is flying much easier for you because you know the inside? Well, here's the thing. There are 47 different points of abuse that are awaiting you every time you want to fly anywhere, from the yeah. time you want to go somewhere to the time you get somewhere. 47 so points of abuse? I've counted every single point of abuse. You bet. Abuse. Abuse, wow. that's right. So okay. if you can minimize those points or mitigate them, right. You got a chance. So, for example, I haven't checked a bag in nine years, right? There are yeah. only two kinds of airline bags, carry on and lost. You know that. <laughs> so, it, you know, and we start with that. And it's, yeah. it's, you become a contrarian traveler. You don't obey a single airport sign because they've yeah. never told the truth since 1947. What do you do with yeah. your golf clubs? Well, send them ahead. You, you, send ah, them ahead. You send them ahead. That's how that started. Yeah. Exactly right. All right. Now, do you check bags? Yeah, sometimes, but not well, rarely. I almost I always Even if I'm carry traveling on. overseas, I don't check bags. Yeah. No. Exactly. Remember, Peter. carry on and lost. All yeah. right. Peter Greenberg, thank you.